Hello, and welcome to episode 30 of What's Growing at CMC, the weekly segment where I, Daniel, and I, Talasha, give you some windows into some of the things God is up to at College Mennonite Church. Jane Short, team leader for the adults relating with fourth through sixth graders, shares about some of the great relationships happening in that group. Soon you'll see a picture of Riley and Parker David Heiser on their visit with their teachers. And a picture that Mabel Brunk, the group's prayer partner, colored for all the kids. They each received this picture and a blessing in the mail recently. Speaking of mail, you all have really been supporting the U.S. Postal Service. The first graders received their Bibles on Sunday and have been busy highlighting all the passages that you've been telling them about in cards and letters. Keep those coming. They love them. Annalise asked us to pass on her thanks to this church for all of the birthday cards that she received last week. She even got a special pie delivered from Michelle Thomas Brenneman, who happens to also be her second cousin. Along with those pictures, you'll soon see a picture of Merle Summers playing his new instrument. Merle has chosen to use the pandemic time to start playing the Psalter. At least two CMCers have been honored recently. Nancy Kaufman was one of two 2020 recipients of Anabaptist Mennonite Biblical Seminary's Alumni Ministry and Service Recognition. Nancy was recognized for her outstanding service as a pastor, conference minister, and denominational minister. I first knew Nancy as my conference minister when I started out as a youth pastor at the ripe old age of 23. Nancy, you were such an encouragement to both of us as we discovered and explored our calls to ministry. And we know that you have been that for many, many people. Nancy became a pastor here at College Mennonite Church when not a lot of churches were hiring female pastors. While being a woman in the pulpit is still not smooth sailing, the work that people like me do is possible because women like Nancy paved the way. Nancy's work has had a huge impact on our whole denomination, and she continues to minister through her work with Dove's Nest. Congratulations, Nancy, on a well-deserved honor. John Yoder was also honored recently for his 30 years of service with the Pumpkin Vine Nature Trail. A few decades ago, John looked at an abandoned railroad and saw a walking and biking trail. What began as a vision became a trail that builds community, promotes health, and brings economic growth. Next time you're on the trail, turn your gaze to the top of Mount Pumpkin. You'll discover a John Mishler sculpture dedicated to John Yoder. You can even have a seat on it, rest a while, and give thanks for the dream that became reality. Many of us know Giselle and Karen, sisters who attend our congregation. They are originally from Honduras, and their family there has been drastically affected by Hurricane Etta. It is difficult for them to purchase what they need there. So, Karen is collecting items to send to Honduras. If you would like to help, you can bring Karen donations. Her address and ideas of what to donate were in your church email on Thursday. And we'll be there again on Tuesday. All of our community schools are working hard to provide quality education in spite of the pandemic. The CMC Student Aid Committee would like to thank you for your support of our students who are attending Mennonite schools. You'll see pictures of some of these grateful students in a little bit. The committee reports that while it is currently behind where it needs to be in donations, they are still supporting all of these students well. So please consider giving to this fund and please continue to pray for all of our students of all the schools in our church. You can give to the fund through the church website or through sending a check with CMC Student Aid Fund written in the memo. Guess what? What? Advent is one week from today. And today 
is your day to pick up your Advent materials. Items will be set out on tables under the office door canopy from noon to two o'clock today, Sunday. You can pick up your Advent candles and wreaths and a guide to celebrate Advent at home. Households with children and youth in grade 12 and younger can pick up this year's Advent calendar. And we're pretty excited about this year's calendar. It's a puzzle of a familiar scene, and you'll add a piece or two each day. So make sure you pick up the set with your family's name on it. And if you're celebrating with children this year, or if you're just curious, remember that you can join the virtual Advent workshop at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Advent, Christmas, and the upcoming Thanksgiving weekend will be different this year. We are grieving the loss of our usual tra traditions. We miss being with our family and friends. And we're learning new ways to celebrate. The harvest has happened, pandemic or no pandemic. Give thanks. Reach out to others. Discover new traditions at home. Try one new virtual thing this coming week. And this week, Give thanks that our great creator is with us wherever we go. God was, God is, and God will be. Thanks be to God. and sowing, planting and hoeing, there's something showing, popping up through the sod. The Spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God. Reaping and sowing, planting and hoeing, there's something showing, popping up through the sod. The Spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God. and sowing, planting and hoeing, there's something showing, popping up through the sod. The Spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God.